Hi guys, Evan here with a Reason Quick Tip. This one it involves using the Neptune as a uh, pitch shifting effect. So I just want to play you this arpeggio here. Um, well, I'll play you the end and then this is where we started from. Something like that. This is, then what I did was I took a copy of that and we're over here right now, this section. I sped it up using the uh, tool window, which is F8, and I hit double to increase the tempo of it, and then I right-clicked it to reverse it. Uh, so now let's listen to what it sounds like. It's sort of an intro. Kind of cool and interesting, but then what I did was I attached a Neptune to it and shifted, automated the semitone shift and the formant shift. So now let's listen to it. So that almost sounds like a tape player overheating. So let's look at what's going on in the Neptune real quick. Um, there we go. So the Neptune is right here. So I turned off pitch adjust and I've turned on transpose and formant. They're both starting at zero. And I basically just right clicked to do automation, then drew in an automation lane for both of them. And now you've got this lovely effect. And you could do that in reverse, making it pitch down for like a pitch stop type effect. I could even automate the tempo if I wanted to. Um, let's just show you real quick. Homemade, oops, it's up at the top. Homemade tape stop. Zero is undoubtedly going to be too slow. So. Um, and we'll use solo off, and now let's try it. There you go. So experiment with Neptune. You can do a lot of fun stuff in it by using the dynamic features and automation. Hope you